Hello and welcome to Transformers Universe live stream. I am Mod Josh T and this, my co-host for this evening is, for his first time ever actually onto the stream, is the one, the only, the Sam. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, it's uh, Mod Denver here. How are we all today? Are you good? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, uh, get a bit of revenge on the Autobots. Yes, for the last that's what we're going to do tonight. Tonight we're going to, we've got like a, a three bits of um, nuggets of information for you in this one actually and I'm going to be teasing them out throughout the whole stream so make sure you stick around for the whole thing. Um, just before we came on air actually uh, I was told we did a little dry run through and I called Sam Big Sam uh, and as I was coming on he told me not to do it. Uh, so there we go it's Big Sam from now on. No, no <laughs> it's not Big Sam please. <laughs> we need to get that to stick. Uh, I will change his mod name this evening. Um, oh, no. So yeah so I hope you're all, all good uh, and Happy out there in the world of Transformers Universe. Did any of you manage to get to Botcom? Uh, I don't know if you've seen on our stream, on our, like our social channels, that uh, Mod, uh, Mod Crow has been there uh, and he's had a fantastic time taking some great pics. We actually had our first ever bit of, I um, don't know if you've seen this actually, our first ever bit of uh, TU cosplay. Ah, um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it was from uh, it's our barricade. So the barricade that we announced with, when we announced the game two or three years ago, yeah. it was a barricade. Uh, and it's, it's awesome. And it's like really? amazing that someone's done our game as cosplay. It's that's, like, that's really we've cool. made it. We can pack you, up, go home. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. we've done it. <laughs> Hit the big leagues. So I just can't wait. I just, I'm just waiting for uh, a BotCon next year. I need someone to be as Dust Storm. That needs to happen. Dust Storm? Really? Yeah. Mm, okay, fair enough. She's my favourite. Yeah, but uh, okay. <laughs> I'm not going to argue. <laughs> okay, so, sorry. So, Sam. Tell us about yourselves, loves, lives, interests, what do you do? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I am one of many of the QA that work on Transformers. Uh, I am embedded with the funnel team, so I mainly work on the tutorial, but I do also do kind of regular stuff with the QA team, testing pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. uh, bot v bot, bot v enemy, everything. Cool, cool, and uh, you're pretty good at the game, it has to be said. Uh, I'm okay. I'd say I'm all right. I'm not fantastic. I mean, Benny and Ash, they're, 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 oh, the, yeah, ones, no, they're, they're like, the ones to beat. They're tier but, one, uh, aren't they? They are. Yeah. Uh, We're not yeah. far off that. I, I mean. don't enjoy playing against them. Yeah. <laughs> has to be said. Uh, no, but yeah, you've been involved in pretty much every, every stream so far, I think, haven't you? Um, or just been playing? Most of them, yeah. I've always been in the background, kind of rolling around, uh, sometimes supporting, sometimes just feeding. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, this one should be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. I've got a bit of a... Uh, a revenge against Rich tonight, so I'm, I'm, oh. looking, I'm looking to kill him a few times. Yeah, he doesn't so think I can do it. Tonight we're going to be playing from because last week we played from the Autobots perspective. We're going to be playing from the Decepticon perspective. So come on. Yep. Uh, so um, just bear with me a second. I'm just making sure the other players are online and good to go. Uh, can you see them? Got two you can. You've got just waiting for the third one. Tyron and Trombone. Perfect. So first bit of information, a little bit of a teaser for you guys. A lot of you have requested this actually uh, on our forums and on our on Facebook especially as well. Is asking for us to make a client available for this. Uh, and I'm pleased to announce that we are working on this. Um, I'm not going to say much more than that. Just keep an eye on. Um, an eye on it, our, our channels in the future, and we will be going into more detail about that in the future. It's very exciting though, and you were saying just then, like the first, your first look at it, it's it's pretty impressive. Yeah, first impressions, guys. It's it's really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, really cool. That's all I'm going to say. I'll, I'll leave it <laughs> just until... a little bit of a teaser. So yeah. we are still very much uh, available in the browser, but this just gives you another option to how to play with our game when when we launch. So I hope I hope that keeps you happy. I've got two bit more. Two like that was the announcement that I was teasing on the forums and in Twitter as well. So, but I've got two bits of information that I'm going to a uh, bit of exclusive as well. So um, keep an eye out on our stream. I'm going to be announcing those shortly as well. So let's cut to the game, and so you can see. So as you can see here, this is we are playing from the Autobot. Who are you playing as today? Uh, today I am going to be rocking Shell Shock as long as it goes well. If not, <laughs> I might swap out to Mismatch. Uh, Mismatch is usually my go-to character, uh, unless I'm really feeding. Then I need to go to drive-by to start killing people. Cool. But um, Shell Shock is 
Probably one of my favourites at the moment. He's really, really strong. And yeah. People don't expect it, so that's that's the best bit about it. Cool. Him. I hope to see him at his uh, at his peak today. That'd be nice. So if you just want to have a quick little run around in the uh, in the base, just so we can see what we've got going on here. Oh, don't know what's going on there, Tyron. Uh, so yeah, I, I I don't know how many of you what you know about. Um, Transformers, I'll give you a quick rundown. So we are a free-to-play game uh, that works in your browser or soon to be your client. Uh, we are currently in closed beta. Um, so uh, if you sign up at transformersuniverse.com, we are sending out uh, invites on a regular basis at the moment uh, to get people in and we are very focused. You know, the game puts you in control of a commander and you build up your squad of Transformers which you then take into battle and each uh, Transformer has uh, different weapons, different equipment, uh, different strengths, different weaknesses, uh, and they also have um, <clears throat> uh, different uh, abilities as well. So some are tanks, some are DPS, some are healers, some are assassins. Uh, we have, I think, 11 classes, don't we? I think that's, yeah, if I'm correct. Yeah, I think we have 11 classes. Um, not all of them are in the game at the moment, but no, that, no, is what, that is what we will have uh, when we, uh, you know, as we progress the game. Uh, yeah, people are asking, this is a, a motor, is what we're calling ourselves, so that stands for... Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> on the bus Put me on Massively the uh, online tactical action game. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and we take, you know, we're taking inspirations from a lot of games, but basically what this is all about, the main uh, crux of this game is about PvP action. So you, what we'll be showing you now is some 4v4 action where you team up with three of your buddies for whichever faction you want to fight for. So whether that be Autobots or Decepticons, and then you take on another four, and you need to make sure that you're working as a team, you need to make sure you're working tactically, uh, and picking out the strengths and the weaknesses. And you'll be able to see that uh, some high level gameplay going on here today because we've got all devs and QA playing so it should be touch notch gameplay. So let's jump into a match. Let's group up. So what you're going to do now, see now on the screen, is Sam grouping up with the three other guys uh, in um, our team. So what we've got, who have we got today? We've got Trombon and Tyron, who I think a lot of you will recognise, so that's good. And then we've also got Mod Leon. So, guys, I'll just give you a quick overview of what the classes are. Uh, at the moment, I am a soldier, so a bit of DPS, a bit of a tank. He's kind of an all-round hybrid player. You've got Tron Bonnet, who is playing Bonnet or Bonnie or Bonner? Tron Bon, I think. Tron Bon, right. <laughs> Tron Bon. Yeah, he's playing Conduit. He's a fantastic healer, probably one of the strongest healers we have in the game. Uh, Mod Leon, he's playing Flatline. I always forget his name. Uh, Flatline is another healer, but he also is a very strong kind of damage type. He has a lot of burst behind him if he's played correctly. And then Tyron has just changed out to Drive-By. Yes. Who is a very, very strong bot at this moment in time. So it should yeah. be a good game. Yeah, cool. So let's jump into a queue. Um, and see what uh, what what we get. So we, we've also like because we're in we're in closed beta at the moment, and so at the moment we, we kind of pick and choose what we want people to oh, jump straight into a match. That's perfect. So we, we're we're very focused on PvP at the moment. We do have PvE elements. Last week we brought back in crisis mode, which um, allows you to kind of team up with three of your buddies to take on waves of terracons. Um, but at the moment, we're automatically queuing you to play PvP mode. So as soon as you jump into the game, it'll automatically queue you to, to jump into a PvP match because that's what we're really focused on. So we're, it's all about fine balance, it, making sure that the bots aren't overpowered, that you know it's all very balanced, and that's our main focus at the moment. So as uh, Sam just mentioned there, that one of the bots we've got on the Zeps kinds is overbalanced. So we are working on that, and that's what this is. You know, that's why we're in closed beta. Uh, and if we're playing against a, a Spark Scape. Yes, you'll see it over overpowered bot. <laughs> yeah, Starscape is very, again, very strong. But at the same time, there is always ways of countering it. I mean, when you play against them a lot, you learn what they're doing, so you know exactly how to counter what they're doing. It's like, oh, they've popped this equipment. I'm yeah. going to back off because I know I'm. Yeah, if you, you want to quickly talk about um, like the three, uh, you know, three weapons and three equipments and S techs and everything like that. Do you want to have a quick yeah, run through? Yeah, um, I'll give you a quick run through. So. Shellshock, he has two miniguns and an axe. His first minigun uh, deals uh, oh, what's it called? shield damage. The second one does spark damage, and the axe does spark damage as well. He's also got his three equipments. Uh, I'm going to get attacked. What are they called? He's got impediment shells, kinetic extension, and matrix, perception matrix. 
Perception Matrix, that increases his shield when he's damaged with a minigun. Kinetic Extension increases axe when they're slowed or... Uh, no, I'm, this is where I'm going to fail, because I can't play <laughs> so, games yeah, so, at the same so time. So as you can see here, like this, that was a fantastic move from both sets of teams. They took it very slow, they were all like inching together, so they, and then as soon as Sam went round that corner, there was four uh, Autobots just waiting for him. Uh, and all hell is broken loose now. But Sam's making the right decision there with uh, you know, all his shield depleted to back out a bit, pull back, uh, and let the other guys kind of help pick the pick the Autobots off. So what's that you just fired off there with the, the pulsing purple? That's actually something from R4. I need to kill her, she was going to kill me. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm uh, dead. Yeah. Okay, so that was um, Conduit. Conduit's, I think, equipment six. So he activates that, and if I get a kill or someone dies around me, they uh, then blow up and deal damage to anybody around them. Okay. It's actually a really good way of either stopping people from killing you, but most people don't know what's going on. I'm going to swap the drive by. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to do it. I need to get my revenge. <laughs> it needs to happen. Okay. Uh, and as I said at the, at the start of this thing, we, we've. Um, we have a thread on our forums that are, uh, allows you to put questions to the, the devs and to the team and everything like that. And so I've, I've picked off 10 and we'll, we'll go through them throughout this, this, this stream. But if you have any yourself, add them into the, the chat on Twitch. We are, we are monitoring that and uh, I will answer them. If, if we can answer them, I will answer them. So we'll start off with um, one from Skyspray, nice and easy. Uh, who is your favourite Transformer? And let's do this in game and in just the Transformers world in general. So Transformers <laughs> Universe, right? So just from Transformers Universe. We'll do both, we'll do both. We'll do both, okay. We can do that, we can do that, yeah. There's no rules. Okay. <laughs> um, let's think. Starstream for in general. Yep. He's generally cool. I really quite like him. Yeah. Um, but then from in-game, my actual, my personal favourite, we haven't released yet, which is a shame. I'm yeah. not going to reveal anything. I will tell you it's an Autobot. Okay. Um, but <laughs> my, uh, my favourite at the moment will have to be Flatline. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and you're about oh, to go oh, down. Yeah, no, I'm so, going. I'm talking to him and you I, can't do I, that. <laughs> So I did my explain. favorite. I did explain yeah, I know. before we started. I cannot game and I cannot talk at the same okay, time. Okay, I, I, I will talk and you can game. So uh, my favorite Transformer uh, in game, as everyone knows. Let's see actually if everyone knows. Who is my favorite Transformer? Let's see if people know in the chat. Uh, and then uh, outside of the game, predictable as it may be. Oh, oh, I wonder. I am partial to a bit of Bumblebee. <laughs> Bumblebee, really? Yeah. I did not expect that. Yeah. Ah, oh, it's just cute. Isn't it? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I know, yeah, I know it's predictable. Yeah, that's, that's fine. But yeah, okay. Uh, there's a lot of questions. Like Andrew seems to be spamming up. Um, thing. Yes. Uh, once we get closer to launch, we will definitely do a Founders Pack showcase. I know a lot of you enjoyed our, our Sparkscape showcase we did a couple of weeks ago, uh, and that is something that we're definitely going to um, uh, continue doing. Uh, so. Yes, and we will definitely do one around the fans' back because that's definitely, you know, those bots uh, are pretty awesome and we want to show those off in their um, best possible light. If you ask it again though, Andrew, I will ban you because you are just spamming. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> 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 oh, that's not going to happen. So that, that big guy, the big red dude, is Showdown. He's somebody you don't want to take on, 1v1, yeah. um, or even 2v2 sometimes. Okay. Depending on who's playing him, he, um, he's definitely the strongest tank in the game at the moment. Yeah, so let, let's. Uh, what yeah, other what's, questions what's, have you yeah, got? Yeah, okay, for so us? other questions. Um, so th I like this question actually. What percentage of the staff play as Autobots and Decepticons? This is a great question actually. Um, what question for me? Yeah. Okay. Um, Actually, I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's about 50 50. Um, yeah. When we do our playthroughs with the staff, you usually get about a weekly split. Yeah. Lots of it players. has changed though, because when I first joined, it was very much uh, Decepticon heavy, I feel. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I suppose that it depends on where the balance is. Sometimes you find one bot comes through and it's a bit stronger, and everyone's like, oh, I want to play the new bot. So everyone plays the new bot. Just, yeah. Um, hey, you got a kill. And I'm going to die. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, I, but it definitely does. Uh, in the last couple of months, it's a lot more even. Um, 
but we are working as well. We don't. Uh, we are looking to track our like best internal players as well, and then we'll set up like a, a team where you can take them on. Uh, okay, that kind of links onto a nice question from Afterthought, who is a RuneScape player, um, and he likes the fact that we have like mod interaction uh, on 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 RuneScape, where you can see players with the gold crowns, you can see them running around, you can interact with them, talk to them, they can give you help and stuff like that. We do currently have that, as you can see right on screen now. If Sam just goes back around the corner, you'll see. Um, no, none of us are actually mods. Oh no, there was, there is. Oh, there is. Uh, you can see. Uh, um, mod, mod G Dog is has got the crown, um, and so um, we do that already. And for people in the beta will know that every Thursday at the moment we are doing events where you can come and take on the devs, and we will continue to do those. And we're looking to do more and more things around that because obviously you know we want to prove that we're the best of this game. So we want to put our best players out there, and you can take them on. Uh, and also the community team. Uh, like myself and Crow and then some other guys will be putting ourselves out there so you can take take us on. Definitely when we get into, you know, closer to launch and stuff like that, something we'll be doing more and more of. Going back to the shell shot guys. <laughs> see, see, see if we can do any better than the first attempt. Yeah. Uh, is Anjin in the chat? I might have to have a word with Anjin because he was uh, uh, he's been he's been streaming today and he's been saying stuff about um, calling me out basically in the stream and the, the title of the stream was I die less than Josh T. <laughs> You're gonna get all the viewers from doing that. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> what transformer is used most by stuff? Mm. Oh, um, I don't know actually. It depends on the, the, the players. I mean, like for example Rio Rain here, he only usually plays tanks. Yeah. That's all, he, all he kind of enjoys playing, yeah. which is fine. Um, but it's <laughs> down to the play. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not like you're killing me. Oh, get off me! So that's uh, Rear Rain is the guy that you said you've got a bit of grudge match going on with. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, kill him. Ah, G Dog, go G Dog! But I killed him, I killed him as well, so ah, that's fine. It's good. Um, <laughs> the. I don't know. A lot of people do really like Dust Storm because of how bursty she is and glass cannon she is. Um, some people like Catapult because yeah. she's the same. But Catapult has that, that great um, <sighs> equipment or S Tech, sorry, where she can shoot through your shield, can't she, and hit you straight on your spot, yeah, she's got, which is just like crazy. Yeah, she can drop somebody, uh, someone like a dust storm. If you're standing out on top of a peak or someone, yeah. she can pick you off for about <laughs> three sniper shots. Yeah, and it's just like tears. Yeah. Because yeah. you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> There's no one around me. Because she can shoot. She can shoot from. Pretty far away as well. She's got more range on it than Dusty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she's got a sniper rifle. She's, yeah, it's uh, crazy. She's pretty good with that. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I do have actually. I'm trying to remember. Um, there are some stats that go around on a daily basis, as like most bots played and stuff like that. And I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, but I, I can't. I will come next stream. I promise, guys, with stats so I can tell you about who you know who is most played in the in the game and things like that so you can kind of know what to expect when the game launches. So what's the score at the moment? Uh, 10-7, so I believe we're winning. Cool. Well wow, I say we're winning as I'm driving away when <laughs> my tail between my legs. It's called regrouping guys. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a it's a valid, valid tactic. Um, Neo Serafin <laughs> if I pronounced that right, I don't know. We'll just call you Neo. Um, <laughs> uh, he wants to know that I've got a friend uh, that plays in Idaho and he is in Florida and we can't see each other when we're online. Uh, that is because at the moment you're on different servers um, and um, it's something that we are aware of. Um, so yeah, so at the moment you, you play on different servers and there isn't, there isn't interaction between servers, I'm afraid. You can, you can server, you can go to their server if you know that link. No you can't. Okay. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> Too many years of testing. Um, okay, moving on. <laughs> yeah, along. Uh, it's all good. Nothing. It's all good. Um, so yes. Uh, so what? Oh, it's, it's a close match. I love close matches because there's sometimes when we jump onto streams and. So not close, and it just really? makes us look. Yeah, well, no, when I'm playing. Oh, mostly. when you're playing, that's why. <laughs> Ashes, I know again. I think, uh, yeah, three and ten. No, no, assists. 
three and five, not too bad. Yeah, no, it's like when I play, I get like a lot of assists, but I get the odd kill, but I get a lot of kills. Uh, playing erosion, I don't have a girl's laugh. That is obviously XSplit and Twitch making me sound like that. I have a great laugh. Uh, say that again, I'll ban you. Is a wired USB Xbox controller compatible with the game? Uh, no, it's, it's keyboard and mouse because we have a lot of stuff going on there. Um, you know, it's. We have. It wouldn't work. It wouldn't work because there's six, uh, six weapons, I said, well, three weapons, three equipments, S Techs. Um, the transform button, there's a lot going on, so uh, yeah. No, at the moment, we're very focused on uh, keyboard and mouse. And, uh, 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 yes, of course, it's switch. Yes, it is erosion. It is, it has that, it has that little like high pitch thing that's on to you. Um, someone's asking for can we get the tiering system back? Um, at the moment, so as I said earlier, what, we, what we've done is we've removed the tiering system so people can get into... Um, come on, Big Sam. No, no Big Sam. <laughs> um, so we've removed the tiering system so we can drive people into uh, matches as, quick, as, uh, as quickly as possible. Um, we will be bringing, you know, there is... We will be reintroducing uh, things along the line of tiering to make sure that uh, I'm guessing why you're asking is so that the matches are more balanced and things like that. And that is something when we get more and more people into the match, will be turned on. So don't don't worry about that. Uh, I do understand why people would like it back. It was a very good kind of way of introducing into the game. Yeah. But once you get used to it, you really want to play matches where you have full access to S T S and those equipment. Because it's the best way of playing it. I mean, if you don't. You don't use everything, and you're not getting the full kind of use no, out of the box. No, it's so. not. And uh, although it's good for the first couple of matches, just okay, this is the controls. But that's why we have um, the outer base. Like that's where you should be learning how to play the game. That's where you should be like really fine tuning your um, abilities and your like one. Your how to, like you shouldn't be jumping straight into a tier three uh, PVP match when you've not mastered one of your bots because yeah. uh, you'll just get destroyed. Especially if uh, it's okay if you're playing against other new people, which once we get you know once we get more and more people into the game, that's what it will be like. Uh, and the people that you know get higher commander levels, they'll just be playing amongst themselves. So it will be fine. There's a kill. Oh, no, you can Oh no! Ah. Kill steal! Kill steal! I'm calling it. <laughs> So any more questions from yes. the forum? Yes. Uh, you like this question. Uh, so this comes from Casey Prime uh, on the forum. Will there be 1v1 matches? Uh, nothing to announce? Is that the correct No, yeah, like, no, like, I, sorry, I, I thought you were going to say your answer, which you, I, but we'll, we'll do the official answer first, which is, no, we're very much focused on uh, 4v4. Uh, at the moment, as Beast players will be able to tell you, so it's 4v4, uh, and then as we wait for players to come on, it, it ticks down uh, to 3v3. Um, we wouldn't go down to 1v1 just because it's, um, well done. Yes. Okay, well, this is, it's, it's, you've kind of picked up now. You've gone from... 10-7 to 5-1, so this looks like it's going to be a victory for Decepticons. Hopefully. Or Hell Mega Drum. Let's do that. Um, yeah, uh, so... So yeah, so we would definitely... 1v1, like, like, to be fair, uh, wouldn't be an enjoyable experience, I imagine. But you said that you've done it a few times on to like test things and... Yeah, so as we test... Uh, this is very internal, obviously this isn't something that we would bring into the game, but it's just from a yeah. testing perspective. From a testing perspective, when we're... I suppose balancing bots, you do have to give kind of a is he stronger than this bot or is he weaker than this bot? So yeah. you do get some of that 1v1 anyway, but that's done by the developers. For the testing side, when we're doing TDM game modes, sometimes you've only got the two testers to do the game mode, so we just do 1v1s. Um, and it's not as fun as you'd imagine it to be. Some of the matchups are quite interesting, but most of them are quite boring, mm -hmm. especially if it's two tanks, it's just head butting wall constantly. Yeah. If it's two healers or anybody with self sustain, you just can't kill them. Yeah. Like, for example, Meltdown. Meltdown is a fantastic example of self sustain. Rocket launcher special, uh, laser rifle to consistently slow you, knock you back if you're trying to finish him off. Really difficult to kill, and it just makes it a bit of a drawn out. Better example is 2v2. 2v2, I've found, is really, really enjoyable. Yeah, no, I've had some great 2v2 matches, actually. You will actually might end up in a 2v2 by accident. Yeah, because if, if, if it's just, if just waiting, yeah. Um, okay, so, where did you come and stop? Oh, uh, Sam! I died less than you, though, so I guess that counts for something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, 14 assists though, so yeah. you're, involved, you're, you're, you're involved in 19 of the kills, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. But six deaths. That was pretty a bit cool. terrible. I think Leo cool. was picking on me, but I was picking on him as well. Mm. Though he did get 4, 10, 5, so, and I did get a better score, but then again there was 5 kills missing, so technically that's 5 kills of the score more than they could have got. Wow! What G dog? Jeez, what's his score? Yeah, he's, he's not that good. Oh dear! And I, <laughs> actually, no, I, I called him out on that last week. I was like, "Your showdown is terrible." So obviously, he's been practicing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and Jin burn. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, um, so let's jump in. So, oh, that was that was quite. If you click through across, you can see like. So this is um, something new that we've added into the game as well. So it's like the ability, so you can see. You know who you've used within as your commander and stuff like that, and then you can click through and see uh, your wards and unlocks as well. So it gives you quite a good detailed breakdown of the stats and stuff like that. So you can see, okay, yeah, so I get a lot of kills with shell shock, but I'm dying quite a lot with drive by or whatever. So you can kind of see, you know, it kind of gives you the, the stats to kind of improve your game, yeah. which is great. Actually, I believe there is a question from the forums about power cores. Yes, there is. So power cores, boom. Nice, I like it. Nice uh, <laughs> um, so the question from uh, da, 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 uh, from G underscore Ace is: uh, Do power cores stack? Simple answer: No. Power cores don't stack. You can only equip one power core, the one type of power core to one slot. If you try to equip another of the same type to the next slot along, it will ask you to delete the previous power core. Yep. So you can only equip one. Uh, okay. You can't do multiple, but whilst we're on that topic, I do have my notes with me, so I'll talk <laughs> about it. Um, we more mentioned it earlier about classes. Uh, power cores are actually very much around classes, so each class has a set amount of offensive, defensive, and utility type power cores. You, can, you, you have the option of six, but you only have five power core slots, so that gives you the ability to kind of swap them out. So yep. if you want to be more offensive, for example, an overclock, He's a demolisher. He has three offensive, one defensive, and two utility. So you can either go more offensive and have three, three uh, offensive power cores, and yep. then one defensive and one utility, or you can then go roll it a bit more into the utility role, and then, or even you can not use any defense. It's up to you. It gives you more kind of power to the player. As mm -hmm. in, I want my bot to be more this way, and you can pull them whichever way you yep. want. Uh, meltdown. We've got another one, of, another example. He's offensive with two, defensive two, utility of two. Okay. Now, <clears throat> he's a really defensive bot. Oh, we're straight into another game. Um, mm. You want to really be rolling that into the defensive and utility kind of yeah. roles. But if you feel like, oh, I actually do quite a lot of damage with the rockets, you can always pull that into the offensive and go, well, I'm, I'm going to play him as an assassin. Not sure why you would, but. It's, it's really up to the player. Yeah. Uh, Just as before this match starts, I want to announce the, the next uh, thing that we've got. Uh, so this is something that we've kind of been working on for a while and something that's been requested quite a few times uh, from our beta players and everything. So it's a new uh, matchmaking screen. Uh, this isn't in the game at the moment, but basically what it shows is that when you jump into a match uh, and you're waiting for players to jump in, you can see who you've got in your team, but you can also see who you're up against. And if you hover over those, you can see uh, you know, what level are, what bots they're playing with. And so it gives you a chance to kind of... Um, uh, you know, fine-tune your team, basically, before you jump in. Uh, which is fantastic. Uh, so it kind of you can, and also you can then kind of say, okay, well, it's two v two. I can wait for someone else to come in, or they're ready to go. So you have to before you say, I don't know. It's just a, a nicer way uh, to kind of before the match starts. Yeah, it's basically for balancing. So you, you won't ever have you'll have less games that you're not like basically four yeah. and one kind of thing. And it is a lot nicer for the player to kind of. You do have a bit of a wait time, but you do have that time to go into the hangar and kind of yeah, make yeah, sure that you've sort of, got sort of like that. yeah. And that was um, so basically that's not in the game at the moment. That was a, a, a bit of a, a, a first look for you guys. So that's something that we're working on, and that's something that we're trying to bring into these streams as well. So you guys get like the first looks of what we're doing. Um, you know, this is coming from all your feedback from your beta players and stuff like that. So uh, you know, it really is helpful. Um, yeah, and you'll hope you'll see those in, in that in the game soon. We've got one more thing that I'm going to announce uh, towards the end of the stream as well. So we're playing a different map now. We're jumping straight back in. We're playing for Autobots and Decepticons again. Decepticons again. Uh, Same teams. I can't remember the name of the map. What's the name of the map? 
Now, Helios District. Is that the one? I'm no, not it's sure. not, is it? Uh, <laughs> I want to say Pull and Power Plant. No, that's his old name. That's his old name. Oh, what's his new name? This is what happens, like, you just remember all the debug names and you never remember the actual real names uh, of things. We will remember. Eventually. <laughs> but yeah, so this is a. Uh, I like this map actually, um, and this is a, with, it's still a TDM match, but I like playing this map in um, in the King of the Hill, well not King of the Hill, Meteor in the Meteor Storm, Storm yeah. uh, mode. I really like it because uh, it, it moves around a lot, um, but I do like the map. I don't, it, it plays a lot differently to Old Jasper and to Santa Bay, I feel, because it's not as it's a bit more flat and a bit more spread out, and it's got like the, the dips. Um, I find it harder to play as Dust Storm on this one compared to say like Old Jasper, whereas on Old Jasper you've got nice little perches that you can stand up and play as Dust Storm. Oh, I can't really play that, uh, that role on this one. Don't, don't, don't do it. Angelino District, well done Ice Trap. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> oh, go away. Leave me alone. I'm not the bot we're looking for. <laughs> So you got, you got into a pretty impressive lead though, you got four kills off the bat, which yeah, is pretty I, good. One of the best things about Transformers is organisation of your team. Mm -hmm. If you're sat with your mates and you're playing this game and you're all on team speak and you can talk to each other, the game is so much more, just not enjoyable isn't the right word, but it's, it flows a lot nicer. Yep. You don't have to like, is the player going to be using this equipment at this point? And you can just get your mate like, heal me, and he'll heal you kind of thing. It's a lot nicer um, when you're playing with friends. Who do I go to? Who, who, um, who do I go to? Uh, try Conduit. Conduit? Yeah, I like a bit of Conduit. Conduit. Um, okay. So we've done that, we've done that one, done that one. Uh, we get this question a lot, um, and I understand why, because it's, uh, it's definitely awesome. But it's like, uh, will we get flyers? When can we see flyers? Why, why is it all land vehicles? Why is there no flyers? Um, like this guy's cars on the table, completely honest with you. For launch, we are very focused on land vehicles and bots that we've got, um, but this is an online game. Uh, this is something that, you know, we don't release this and then move on. This is something that over the next, you know, starting with the next six months and then over the next two to five years, we're constantly developing and constantly adding new modes, constantly adding new bots and everything like that, a new story, you know, everything that you'd want, for, you'd expect from an online game. So, of course, you know, as the name suggests, we are building a universe here and um, I can't, you know, I've got nothing to announce today, but, you know, in the future, you know, the sky is the limit really of where we can take this game. I think that's hopefully, a PR enough kind of... Uh, hopefully literally the sky. Yeah, so. yeah we, we all want it. We all, you know, we're all Transformers fans here. Uh, but it's, at the moment we're very focused on getting this game ready for launch and that it means land vehicles. If you check out the Under the Hood episode, if you go to our YouTube channel after the stream's finished and watch uh, Under the Hood episode one, you'll be able to see uh, some teasers there about track based uh, track based vehicles like tanks and stuff. So you can see some artwork from one of those guys and stuff like that. So that's definitely worth, worth a watch. You're not really supposed to play this guy as, as a killer, but I somehow managed to get a kill. <laughs> I did say, I did say G Dog wasn't great. Oh, I say that and drive into a wall. How many bots are you planning to make in the game? Uh, again, uh, for Lord. I think what we've got in the game at the moment is eight on each side, uh, and wait when you start the game, um, you get uh, three three star spots per faction, um, and then you can unlock others either by purchasing them or earning in-game relics to uh, to unlock them. Uh, so it's eight per side, uh, and we will be you know you know we'll be having more warriors in the future. Do not worry. Plenty more warriors. In the yeah. Future. We've got some wicked ones coming to be fair. Yeah, we, uh, Ooh, we know more than you. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, uh, as a tester, we do get to experience a lot of content. Well, we get to experience all of the content, not a lot. Yeah, all of it is uh, the first time, so we get to give feedback to the developers so they can. Uh, the very first game we talked about, what was that big purple thing around me? Yeah. That, that's what just got me that kill. So uh, okay. When someone dies um, or someone gets a kill, um, that will go off and damage is going to be around them. So as 
you'll see, I think it was Rio that died, Gbell drops, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong in the forums. Forums in the chat. Oh god. Yeah. yeah, so do be excited for the new box. Yeah. I like the role that you're playing. You know, you can see that the healing that you're doing. So if you've got two, there are two conduits in the match. So there is two conduits, which is a bit, I would say, unfair on them, because we are possibly the strongest, as I said, healers at the moment. Yeah. But that's because we have two healing weapons. There's no other spot in the game that has a two healing weapons. On the Autobot side, the comparison would be Meltdown. Yeah. But he, he's more of a utility. I don't want to say utility. Uh, yeah, there he is. But it um, depends how you play him. There's a little trick, that, it's not a trick, it's a way of playing the game. But at the moment I am just shooting him with the, with the shotgun because it's quick reload time. And I don't have to do much. Get out of there. It's not fine, I'm gonna die. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, I just saw a question there. So, Cal Cypher D, uh, will there be servers for countries like Australia? Um, to be honest, I, um, I would like to be able to answer that question. I honestly, I do not know. Um, that is not a question for me. Um, if you post that into the forums, I can get that answer for you. If you, if you head to www.universe.com uh, and post it in a thread or post it wherever, and we'll, we'll, we'll look into that for you, and so I'll be able to let you know. Right, we'll see what I was, the thing I was talking about earlier about was swapping weapons. So if I'm swapping to shotgun, two shots, bang bang, change the pistols and then heal, you get a lot more healing out, that's why he's a very strong healer. Because he basically always output his healing. It's very difficult for a DPS to do more damage to you than your healing. So uh, yeah, that's a tip. It's a tip, it's not a, it's not a trick, it's a tip. And it's really useful and Meltdown is probably one of the strongest bots at doing that. Always be, uh, you can always be either healing or damaging or slowing. It's why it's very utility based. Why are they not focusing? Maybe they're just trying to. Uh, Do you say that? Uh, no, they're focusing on you. Yeah. Yep. It's almost like they're listening. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very good point. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Because we have three healers, it's very difficult for them to kill one of us. Because we have such good. Yes, from the drive by. Um, it's very difficult to sustain it. Really, yeah. which is possible is the apple. She should be trying to pick off one of us from yeah. the sides by popping all the group up her equipment four and five to uh, go straight to health and into the Yeah. On, on but because they're basically such a unique thing, it's very difficult to uh, Okay, and there was a question there from smin 1080 p and he was like, any chance for a Steam version? Um, no, like, to be honest, no, we're very focused on our, our own platform, which would be obviously the browser, and then as I announced at the start of the, um, the, the show, we are working on our, our client as well. So, um, no, they would be the two, the two things that we focus on to begin with, um, and, I, and to be honest, I don't think Steam is something they would have for us in the future. Where we are with the time and with the struggle, yeah. So, someone's asked about the will there be clans or guilds? Yes, there will be. Uh, we haven't talked about that yet, so keep an eye again uh, on the game in the future. That is something that obviously will play um, you know, that this kind of game that we're building, where it's very focused on you know the factions and uh, combat leads. You know, works very well for um, uh, clans and guilds. So that's something definitely that we you know we will be we'll be announcing shortly. Forward to it. Yeah, I know. Everyone that wants to come on to Clan Josh T, sign up now. We're going to be. Hashtag most dense. Yeah, hashtag race to the bottom. <laughs> 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 Wee! Yeah. <I> hate you. <laughs> um, it's fine, we'll bring him into QA for a day and teach him the ropes. Uh, just in case, I don't know. No, I, I'm getting better. I am getting better. Something that I'll, 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 I
Started out as an intern. Okay. Um, in RuneScape, which is great. Uh, how hard I work, obviously. <laughs> Not my luck, it's for my charm. Um, they, I talked to the performance team at the end of my intern trip, they were looking at the position at the time, and that was the role that I'm in. And due to the so hard with the team, they put me in that more of a more important role in this Okay, cool. Yeah, no, um, if you want, yeah, we. We do run uh, at Dragex uh, intern programs. Um, like we've just had a new batch, and we just started the last couple of weeks, actually. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, if you are interested in, in working for Dragex and working on Transformers Universe, head to dragex.com. There is a, a careers uh, page there at the moment. Um, yeah. So that's cool. Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's I'm excited about this match. This is like more, a way more one more sided. One more, why, why, why is this? Is it just because you were the two conduits, or um, I has that played a part? Had a bit of a, oh my god, two dog. <laughs> Zero health, two full health. Um, yeah, I think they had a bit of a, a lucky start. I want to mm -hmm. call it a lucky start. They managed to um, they managed to get a few kills off early. Yeah, and they've just never recovered. Not really recovered. You find that when when you're behind, if you don't come back out as a team of four, mm -hmm. it's very difficult. That, yeah. That, um, yeah. And um, I know there's people asking it on on the uh, the, the chat there about um, camping and stuff like that. Um, we're working on this, guys. Uh, I can't say any more than that. Keep an eye out on our channels. Uh, we'll have some announcements uh, shortly about stuff like that, about improvements we're making to the game. We'll see something. Just then, I did something kind of. It, it wasn't <laughs> wasn't wasn't meaningful. Let's put it that way. But I, I transformed into vehicle form. I believe vehicle form take less damage from weapons. So my vehicle form, everybody around me, and I took off the four, which was also increased my ah, okay. damage reduction. So I want to do it. Yeah, but you don't uh, you don't re re uh, gen health do you when you're in car form. No, when, so. you're, when you are in vehicle form, you don't be really generating health at all. Which is it's a bit of a pain. I don't like you, dog. You seem to have a bit of a grudge match again. <laughs> right, going down, going down. Uh, uh, do we have any more questions from here? Uh, someone, uh, Casey Prime asks, can we have a stream focused on Overclock? Um, again, as I said earlier, like we're definitely going to continue to do more focused streams just on one player, like we did with the Sparkscape stuff, which you can check out on our past broadcasts or check out our YouTube channel, where um, it's a, a 30, uh, 45 minute session where we focus on how to play as them and then how to play against them. And it really gives you an insight, kind of, you know, the hints and tips, um, you know, from our dev team showing you how to play as these guys. You know, these are the guys that kind of created these bots and say, and created their weapons and everything like that. So you're really getting the, the hints and tips on how to play as them. Yeah, honestly, I think it's a fantastic idea, especially kind of sharing the knowledge. Mm -hmm. So always good to more players learn how to play the bots correctly. So then you're never in those one sided kind of things. Yeah. And it's not just four Spartscapes running around with flamethrowers. They're actually doing the correct thing. I see a lot in game when I'm playing, a lot of people using laser rifle, laser rifle yeah. like against shield, and it's like, no, use your rockets because it's. Because they've got their shield, you need to use the correct weapons with it, and that's just something that comes through one practice and two knowing some people just don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Exactly, so and I really want to set up, for one, one stream one day, I will do this where we have a match where it's four catapults versus four dust orbs. Let's see what happens. We have actually done something very similar to that. Um, but as you say, some people just like to watch the world burn, and I think that kind of. It'd <laughs> <laughs> be good. Uh, actually, uh, four, four catapults versus four dust orbs. As long as I'm the catapult and you're the storm. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I would play. I, I I know how to play catapult now, and I think I would play as catapult. Oh really? <laughs> if I was playing against the storm. I thought your favourite bot. Was... I, she is definitely my favourite bot, but not against four catapults. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be, uh, it's gonna be. It would just be like the most. <laughs> but the best counter uh. for catapult would be mismatch. You played four. Actually, no mismatch is just unstoppable. Uh, mismatch is where he's basically, for those that don't know, he's very tanky and he absorbs electrical damage and catapult deals 
mostly electrical damage other than her physical shotgun. So, um, oh, it's not electrical anymore, is it? It's, what's it called? Spark and shield damage. Yeah. So she called, she does the, the both damage, but yeah. Sorry about that. It's uh, old terminology coming back. Um, I've just literally got a tweet there from Anjan saying, I can help out with some streams. I can help out with some streams. Yeah, I'm sure you can. <laughs> yeah, no, we, um, we can, um, as we get closer to launch, that's definitely something that we want to, you know, do is bring the community and to get them more involved with our streams and stuff like that and, uh, you know, help us out because the more streams we can do, the more information we can get out there. So that's definitely um, something that we will definitely look at. So, um, positive this time. Yeah, you came second. And I came second. Well, well done. It wasn't a bad game, actually. Yeah. Um, but again, G Dog got a crazy amount of scores. It continues on the losing, the losing team. I think I know why. It's because this uh, showdown heals himself um, when he's taking off shield and giving, sorry, taking off health and giving him shield, and that's giving him score because mm -hmm. he's, he's technically healing himself. Ah, uh, okay. So, and as I wasn't playing any box that were like massive self healers. Well, actually, I say that drive by self heals, but I wasn't using it. Yeah, but yeah, that's probably why. Um, so, uh, uh, oh, sorry, oh, it's late night. Uh, GFC FGF one two three, catch your name there, guy. Um, will there be some sort of Cybertron in the game? Also, will there be more factions later on? There will not be any more factions. This is definitely much, you know, about the Autobots versus Decepticon faction war. But new locations, as I said earlier, we are building a universe, so. Who knows where we'll take it? Watch this space. Yeah. Is the best way of describing <laughs> Yeah, so guys, uh, if you've got any questions, uh, we're, we're nearly close to finishing up. So if you've got any questions, uh, let us know. Uh, we're sticking around for another 10 minutes or so. So um, let's go back to this one. Ooh, close oh, up. Nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, one thing we haven't mentioned, we're like, uh, for you Americans, what? Three days, three days away from the launch of the new film. Get excited. Three days in America. In America. In, yeah, we're next Thursday, I think, aren't we? Next Thursday. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm I know. I, I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. Um, are you guys excited? Dino bots. Dino, Dino yeah, bots. No, Dino bots. It's going to be awesome, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how. Yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be epic. Um, I've got my cosplay outfit ready. Have you? you do you really? want to make sure you leave the key? Really? <laughs> yeah. You've got a cosplay outfit ready? Yeah, I've got Grimlock. You've actually got a Grimlock? It's all made out of, like, um, Kellogg's. <laughs> 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 it's the only way to do it with Kellogg's boxes. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's awesome. Actually, I, or uh, there are other cereal brands out there if you want to use other cereal boxes. <laughs> Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch, anything. Uh, yeah. Oh, look, everyone Everyone is out hanging on our chat. We've got One Exit, who we did an interview with last week. We've got So Mungry, who I love and is a, got a fantastic YouTube channel. Check it out. Um, everyone's there. Love it. Thank you guys for hanging out and, uh, and chatting in our our um our chat yeah. <laughs> um so any questions let's see if there are anyone can there be a penalty for quitting matches early um good question um i can't say anything at the moment but it's something that we are working on so yes there will be in the future uh how are new players supposed to start out? how are new players supposed to start out i don't be like the guy who goes not 10 and makes my teammate hate me. Right. Uh, <laughs> that is a I've, very good question. I've got some uh, Captain advice. Cuddle Pants, and that is a very good name. Captain Cuddle Pants, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Captain Cuddle Pants, um, if you're looking to learn, best thing to do is go do some public missions. If you're yeah. out into the base, uh, if you can play around, you'll find some armies spawn, which are just massive, mass amounts of terracons. Yeah. Uh, and just learn one of your bots, um, learn how to play him, and Learn your damage types on him, start reading the equipment, yeah. learn your s -techs, and then when you are playing, you'll know who to focus. So, you, well, not who to focus, how to damage correctly, and then you can learn who to focus. So if they've got a healer up and they've got a big tank that's in your face, try to ignore the guy that's in your face, because that's what he's trying to do. <laughs> yeah. You, you want to kill the guy that's healing yeah. him, so you, it's just learning to focus. Yeah. Also, as I said before, play with a few friends, it's the best way, honestly, to one, learn, and, and two, to have the most fun. Yeah, no, definitely. And like. Yeah. 
if you're looking for people to play with, head to our forums. Uh, if you're in the beta, head to the forums. Uh, start chatting to people there. They're very friendly and they're also always looking to help out and get you into games and stuff like that. So that would be good. Um, and also, yeah, another one is to uh, team up with three of your buddies and do the crisis mode. Um, because yes, they're, 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 yes, after you've got used to a bit of... Um, out of base action. That is the next level, and some of the I can't remember. There's two out. There's two at the moment, and the second one is crazy hard. Uh, and and which so it's one's that one? <sighs> is it the one in the? Is it the one in the snow, or is it the one in? The, it's the one in the city. The city. Oh, okay. Um, right, I'm, I'm going to throw out a challenge. I want to see somebody YouTubing. Oh, da, 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 da. You haven't no. spoiler alert yet. I haven't done that yet. What? I haven't said my oh. final announcement. Oh. oh. Sorry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Final nine ones, guys. Oh, no, don't. Oh. So some of you okay. may have seen this on our forums, but we have now lifted uh, the NDA for our beta players. So um, we are, you know, if you're in the beta, feel free to uh, stream, feel free to put up YouTube videos, feel free to talk about it on our, uh, you know, on Twitter, on Facebook, anything like that. Um, you know, it would be great to see, you know, what you guys can do. Anjin, as you probably have, what he's been talking about, uh, started to stream earlier today. mungri has been doing it for a couple of days. Um, if uh, anything can, you know, if there's anything you want to do, put up there, like, yeah, let's do this now. We are setting you guys in the beta a challenge. What is that challenge? Well, that challenge is I want to see somebody, well, somebody and a friend, two man, the uh, crisis mode. <sighs> but the one with the snow, because me and one of the testers this afternoon, we've soloed it, well, we two-manned it twice. We, first time, died three times I did, and he died once, second time, neither of us died. So I want to see somebody get through it without dying so a that's horrific two amount of people times. Uh, going through uh, crisis mode on the snow. Uh, I will get the name for you. I'll put it in our forums. This is a challenge for you guys. I like it. Yes. Weekly challenge. Weekly challenge. Uh, Internet e points for whoever does it first, and maybe I, mean, I, I, I will be able to rustle up a prize. There's definitely a prize for this. Uh, I like this, yeah, it's good oh, off the cuff. I love it. Um, yes, yeah, so <clears throat> challenge head to our forums. I will put the details there, but it's yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. I'm excited, I'm excited actually... about seeing more of, your, more of your videos and everything like that. Uh, and if you um. If you do any live streams or you put any videos, send, uh, tweet them at either MMO Transformers or at myself, so Jagex Josh T, and I'll make sure that more people see them and you know we put them into the forums and everything like that. Because obviously, it's great that you're promoting our game. Um, let's see if there's any more. So someone's saying it's called Arconos Arconos Reservoir. Yes, that's the one. <sighs> Engine. You're amazing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry, we would remember these, but they, they they've changed very recently. It was I think the last. Kind of push they've changed the names and when, you, when you're a tester all you remember is line dot 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 line dot 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 and yeah. when, they, when someone goes what's this place called you go i don't know yeah. <laughs> line 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 dot 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 yeah uh, does that count <laughs> yeah. uh will there be cross faction pve uh <clears throat> no um solid i can't even pronounce your name no there will not be cross faction pve you I'm, fight each other. Yeah, well, why would you play together? You don't want to play together. You want to fight each other. To be honest, though, <laughs> if they did, I'd, I reckon Decepticons would kind of like make the Autobots take all the damage. Last boss comes in, gets the boss low, turns around, finishes off the Autobots, kills the boss, collects the rewards, and then goes home. <laughs> um, sea of Falling Stars. Josh, can you use my ideas or are they unusable because of it's a fan idea? I don't know what ideas you're talking about. Is it? Are, are you on the forums as something else? I, if you are, I think I know who you're talking about. Um, all for, you know, uh, all ideas get passed on. You know, we, we we do look at ideas and everything like that. But at the moment, we know we've got a very strict plan of where we need to be for for launch, and then it'll be um, something that we have to figure about. You know, once we've got past that, that's when we'll start looking at ideas and things like that. But as you said earlier. Always, always talk on the forums. It's always good to. Find yeah, no, it's definitely a good place other. to hang out. Um, mm -hmm. And there's definitely, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's getting. Uh, yeah, no, I, I like it. And there's there's a lot, especially once you see, once you get, if you get into the beta, there's a lot of banter going on. Uh, and there's there's teams forming and things like that. And one X, one exit, and uh, Anjin and everything like that have their little harem of buddies there at the top of the leaderboards. And I'm looking forward to taking those guys down, actually. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a laugh of doubt at all. <laughs> <laughs> so 
it's happening. Yeah, well, um, unless you had Benny Ash and me. Yeah, I maybe. did say it was not my idea. I would be bringing much to the table, but I will definitely be win on teams. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Okay. Talking about ideas, I don't know how much you guys follow with the RuneScape stuff. RuneScape are fantastic with their following ideas on the forums. And yeah, well, it is very much all about the power to the yeah. player, and that is something that you know uh, we will look to do in the future. Once we, you know, we at the moment, as I said, we are very much in crunch mode, getting ready for launch, so yeah. we can't be bringing in new ideas. Uh, but yeah, there's yeah, definitely have, some. Have that plan. Have once that vision. We're out and people are enjoying it constantly, and we can then see, you know, ideas, we can see what um, we want to yeah. work on and stuff like that. So bring it, bring it, Gorg Gorgoth. Oh, I'm rubbish with names today. <laughs> so, um, thank you very much, guys. Uh, thank you, Sam, for dropping by. You're very welcome. Uh, we will be seeing you a lot more in the future. Uh, we are, uh, you know, we are looking to crank the amount of streams that we do. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing my first 24-hour stream. It's kind of a uh, rite of passage. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Like as a streamer, you need to do your first. You need to do a 24-hour stream. You need to look like hell for 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I honestly cannot wait to do that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I think I'm around. That it's a, when is it? I don't know, to be honest. You don't know? <laughs> uh. Almost. Sorry, guys. <laughs> close. Close. Maybe you won't be on streams, actually. You're a liability. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps telling them everything. <laughs> but yes, uh. no. Uh, no, I will Cheers join guys. you for that one. Yes, it will, it will be good. I'll hopefully, see you guys next time. If you do like me, let me know. Yeah, are you I'll on Twitter? Uh, no, I live under a rock, but do I can you? be on Twitter. No, like, no, no, it's all good. Like, you, you do take part in a bit of the forum, so like, we will. Uh, anything, yeah. As always, guys. Actually, I, I, I will start a dedicated uh, thread to this in the forums when I get back upstairs. Is that? Um, we need to have a, yeah, any feedback that you have for our streams, any, any feedback that you have, any ideas, uh, let us know because you know, we're quite new to this. Uh, this is probably our seventh or eighth, and any ideas that you want, uh, yeah, we can do it. If you, you know, any forfeits or torture that you want me to do on Mod Crow. What about please? you for having worse no. KDA? No. Yeah. No. Okay, guys, you, you should <laughs> harp on about this one. You should have, uh, at the end of the stream, whoever's got worse KDA. Yeah, that should be it. That should be another challenge. Make, yeah. make, make you perform. Yeah. <laughs> you know, one of the ideas for, the t for a 24 hour stream was like, like me and Mod Crow go head to head, and then whoever loses doesn't get breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a bit mean. We don't eat. <laughs> what about for every meal? So every, every, meal. every meal you lose, you lose out. Uh, every, every game you lose, sorry. Now, yeah. You should do like so, uh, whoever loses the game should have to go for a dunk in the swimming pool. Yeah, or whoever half wins pool, gets yeah. like a like, cheeky half an hour nap or something. <laughs> no, 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 you can't have a nap. It's a 24 hour stream. You're saying you've got to do, air, you've like... got to do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Thank you guys. It's been um, fun. I've enjoyed it. Um, our next stream, I think um, Chris Brassa is back uh, doing a stream for the American audience, like a later one. So be uh, he's he's back in America, so he'll be rocking that from uh, later in the later in the week. We will announce it when when we have it. So cheers, we'll see you soon. Thank you very much. Peace.